Tonight, a Gwinnett County student is facing criminal charges after authorities say he stabbed one of his classmates at Brookwood High School. 11 Alive's Molly Oak is live for the school right now. And Molly, I know you spoke with some parents and students. How are they feeling about how all this unfolded? Kind of a range of emotions, guys. I talked with one parent who told me she was just too emotional to get on camera. She'd come to the school in the afternoon to drop off something for her student, and she said that she ended up seeing that victim get put into the ambulance. Other parents are asking for increased safety measures at the school, and I talked with one student who was inside the school when the stabbing happened. She said the minute she even heard any kind of rumbling that somebody got stabbed, she immediately texted her dad and asked him to come pick her up. This morning at Brookwood High School. I'm just sitting in class doing my work and Dr. Savage comes over the speaker saying we need medical attention in the commons. People that are in lunch or got to study, please hold your students for about 10, 15 extra minutes. So by this point, I was like, what's going on? Bernard Watson with Gwinnett County Public Schools says school administrators found a student stabbed multiple times in the bathroom. At that point, Lillian, a junior at the school, says they didn't know for sure what was going on, but started hearing that a student was stabbed. The whole class goes silent. The whole class, like, freaks out because we're like, no way. Once she was let out of class, she says she was terrified one of her friends was hurt. I have never walked faster than I did then. I was speeding through the hallway. I was moving people. I was pushing people out of the way. I needed to find my friends. Parents first got a letter from the school saying a student was found injured in the bathroom, but it never mentioned a stabbing. We want parents to understand when you have a situation like this, it's happening in active time. We're trying to gather information to figure out what's true and what's not true. A later letter came out that then told parents a student was stabbed and hospitalized. Watson says the student accused of stabbing his classmate was found off campus about 30 minutes later and arrested and charged. When you attack someone with a knife and stab him multiple times, there will be serious criminal charges as well as school disciplinary consequences. That student is charged with aggravated assault, having a weapon on school property and disruption of school. I do think that we have some form of safety and some form of direction in this school because there's definitely the faculty are always on top of everything. Every situation, they usually get it handled. I'm not terrified for my life, but I'm terrified for us as a community. Now, Watson tells us that the administrators in this school are already reviewing the safety measures they have in place to try to make sure something like this doesn't happen again. As for the victim and the suspect, we know they're both males, but we don't have their ages confirmed yet. We're also working to learn how that victim is doing tonight. Guys. All right, Molly, unfortunately, this is happening far too frequently. Thank you.